this is again about Dame Dash, the liar. So, years ago, Hip Hop DX did an interview with Memphis Bleak. Or they had some footage from an interview with Memphis Bleak. Memphis Bleak was a Rockefeller artist, but he's also good friends with Jay-Z. And he also spoke, he was in this video for yesterday with R. Kelly. I uploaded a video yesterday, but they blocked it because I had included the footage from the Fiesta video. Dame Dash claims he hates, he found out some information about R. Kelly with underage girls. But Dame Dash had a reputation for being a real fucking weirdo. That everybody, a lot of models and things, if some of those video girls back from the 90s speak up, then they would see it was a totally different image of Dame Dash. Now, he made a statement that Aaliyah wasn't this type because she was kind of tomboyish, but then he started noticing that she always looked different every time he seen her. So, this motherfucker, Dame Dash, if you go back and look at Hip Hop DX, um, it says the title was Dame Dash explains why he was in the Fiesta video or something like that. This is not from Hip Hop DX. This is just a still picture from the video because I can't show the video. He blamed Aaliyah and said, I did it. I was in the video. I did it because that's the way Aaliyah wanted me to do it. Uh, that's the way he said. I did it because Aaliyah said to do it that way. That was his exact words. So Aaliyah passed away. In this video, he wasn't just standing there. Go back and watch the R. Kelly Fiesta remix. I tried to find the behind the scenes because when this video came out, they was asked back then, they should show uh, clips of them making the video. And it was like almost like a video. You would be able to see them making the video, especially Hype Williams. He would always have behind the scenes of a lot of his videos while he was making them. Or they would release the behind the scenes clips. Dame Dash was kicking on that set. And up in a lot of women's face. He was looking more um, into it than Memphis Bleak and Jay-Z. Because you know, Memphis Bleak and just kind of got like a calm, laid back demeanor. So I can't see him doing all that dancing. But Dame had a bottle, as he always have a bottle in every video. Doing that one little dance with his fat little stomach. The same dance he did in the Big Pimpin' video with a bottle. How can you put up something on the person that's deceased? And so, if R. Kelly, you said R. Kelly, Aaliyah told me all this stuff R. Kelly did about her. And once he found out what he was doing, how the fuck you didn't know what R. Kelly was alleged to accused of doing to underage girls? Everybody knew that. And he had... Underage girls around him and Jay-Z. Foxy Brown was underage. Now, whether or not it'll ever be proven that Foxy and Jay-Z actually was intimate when she was underage, only way to be proven, one of them admit to it. Dame Dash always try to make himself seem like he's so above everybody. But if he's so above everybody, why did even Kanye West, which I don't like him, but why did the man that he found Kanye West leave him to go with Jay-Z? And exactly, he was like, it became too much. Even if you guys find the old footage, what Dame Dash was saying, or that nigga J-F-F-A-G-G-O-T. He was telling people that Jay-Z was not gay, a fag. Which is like a total... Disrespect, like, what the hell you call me? And going behind his back. And they both snakes. But at the end of the day, he did an interview in 2024 blaming a man that's already in jail. Now, R. Kelly did what he did. 
But those mothers need to be in jail too, including Aaliyah. Now, I like Aaliyah, but I just keep this shit 100. The only way the truth is going to be revealed is if people stop trying to cover up and protect Aaliyah's image. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to blame Aaliyah for doing anything because she was a child that was grown into a lifestyle. They got everybody believing Aaliyah's from Detroit. Well, Aaliyah's from the fucking Bronx. She's not even from Detroit. She's from the Bronx, New York. Some people may best die, Bronx, whatever. Her mother didn't have shit. If her mother and her uncle Barry Hankerson had her around that grown ass man, then I ain't not speaking. I don't know why Dame Dash keep blaming R. Kelly. But what they won't talk about is this. A lady named, a little, a young lady by the name of Leia, L-A-I-Y-A-H, who shared the same exact name as Monica, the singer daughter, who's also been seen in a lot of pictures with Aaliyah, who no one seems to talk about, was very young, under Clive Davis, in this motherfucking music industry, and she did have a mom, but Monica grew up fast too. And she was on several pictures with Aaliyah. It's a lot of people that know a lot of stuff. But they don't want to say nothing. Because some of the girls grow up to be women. They just roll with the punches. And Monica just happened to be one of those ones that she from Atlanta. She had a mom. She going to do what she do. And Monica is just Monica. But and she keeps her mouth closed. But somebody needs to speak up about what happened to Aaliyah. Because if this little young lady, Leah Houghton, who shares the last name as Aaliyah, is actually Aaliyah's daughter. Is that what Dame Dash mad about? Because every time you put in Aaliyah and Dame Dash child, this young lady name pop up. But if you do the math, I find it impossible for that young lady to be Dame Dash's daughter because Aaliyah and R. Kelly, he keeps saying they weren't married. They was fucking married. It was a, a marriage that was illegal. And it, well, it technically wasn't legal. But he goes on the TV show and he says, I mean, on the um, podcast, and he says, what interview, what, what, what footage do you have? What conspiracy do you have? If you don't believe, they say, what do you mean? There is no gray area. No, motherfucker. You don't get a chance to decide what we believe. You don't get a chance to decide what consumers believe. You don't decide the uh, social media um, influence think. TikTokers are going to eat his ass alive because he did that interview the demons are hiding him. His conscience is bothering him. And R. Kelly's in motherfucking jail right where you need to be. You, Hype Williams, even if Lenny Kravitz know, Lenny Kravitz, if Lenny Kravitz know what the fuck happened to Aaliyah, he need to speak up because he's been in this industry alone. And he's a long time. And he's in that different elite group. But I'm not going to say you motherfuckers elite. Y'all are sick. Elite just made a bunch of motherfucking bu uh, bureaucrats. That picked up a bunch of poor black people. Bureaucrats and aristocrats. That put, picked up a bunch of black people from the ghetto. And let them be in their clique. To figure out another way to enslave black people. And use these dumbass men. Poor excuse of a man. To capitalize off our women. When they, didn't want our, when, they, when they didn't want the black woman, they wanted the black man because the black man is the foundation of the family. And y'all sold yourself out to get some money to get accepted into their realm. And I'm not talking about white America now, 